iOS 15.3 and macOS 12.2 were just released and it's imperative that you update immediately because these updates fix an extremely dangerous Safari bug. Let's take a look. This website is called safarileaks.com and there's a problem with this indexed DB API that exposes information about you if you've ever logged into a Google account. Mm -hmm. So here it is. You can test for Google user ID leaks. I'm gonna click the try it button. Notice that my picture came up and this number. Just to be clear, this information is now available on every single website you visit with any of these browsers. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. I can go over here to this OAuth2 playground and paste in my Google user ID and I can see, okay, this is the information that every website can see about me, including my picture, which is right here. I'll just open a new tab, there it is. How many people have a photo of themselves attached to their Google profile? A lot of people. A lot of people, this is my personal account. So what I did is I thought to myself, okay, how much could somebody actually find out about me using this picture? And this is all real world, by the way. So I'm gonna save the image to my computer, Google image search, and then I'm gonna tap the search by image button to do a reverse image search. If you've never seen this before, you're gonna think it's cool. Choose the file uploads the file, and so it's gonna search the internet for this image. It thinks that I'm a senior citizen, first off. Yes, so this reverse not, image search is not perfect. Not thrilled about that, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this page, what I noticed, pages that include matching images, David Payette, F65, and that's just the College of St. Rose, MBA. So every website that I've visited for the length of this has been able to download a picture, mm -hmm. which then can be linked to me personally and my personal data. This is real world example, and as you can see, the black and white photo matched up with the color photo. Yeah, also, what you should know is that websites can sometimes see what other accounts you've logged into through your Google account. We talked about that and how websites steal your data video. Yep. So they have your Google ID, maybe they can all see, oh, you're logged in Facebook, you're logged in Instagram through Google. One of the main reasons I'm grateful to have a YouTube channel with David is that we can actually show people how these bugs work. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to support us, we would be very grateful for that. There's a join button below. You get perks, you get to connect with us members only chats, et cetera, et cetera. So update your Mac, click on that Apple logo upper left-hand corner of the screen. Okay, Apple logo. About this Mac. Okay, and you'll see the version that you're running. I'm running 12.1, it's fixed in 12.2. Yep, click that software update button. Okay. Update is available for your Mac. I'm not gonna do this right this second. I will do it later today. I actually didn't do this for you mm -hmm. because I wanted to be able to demonstrate this at my own expense. That's so. what I did on my iPhone too. So I've got my iPhone pulled up over here to safarileaks.com. If I just scroll down here and there you go, there's my unique Google user ID as well as my profile picture. Yep, which then could be reverse image search and you know that they're gonna find David. They're gonna find me. And they're gonna know he's on every single website that he's visiting. I'm all over the place. And I wanted to scroll down here real quick too. This demo detects the following websites. And some of these websites, you know, Twitter, Instagram, do you read Bloomberg? That's on here too. I mean, this is just a massive leak. To update my iPhone, I'm gonna go to the home screen. I'm gonna tap on settings. Then I'm gonna tap on general. Then tap software update. There's gonna be an update available. 15.3, I'm gonna tap download and install after we're done recording this video. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with us, especially about all these things that continually come out mm -hmm. because this won't be the last bug in the history of the computer universe. This also connects to another issue of the Apple ecosystem, and that's that you can't update native iOS apps independently. You can only do it through an iOS update. So when there's a big bug in Safari, it's not as simple as Apple pushing a small Safari update. It's a major iOS update they need to push. So a lot of people complain about this. It's obviously more complicated than just like, oh, I just wanna update Safari, but they should have the ability to push out little security updates like this that are giant. Right. So instead of making it a two gigabyte download for however much it is now for a software update, it should be a one megabyte download that happens like that, that fixes this type of bug. They could build that in. Mm -hmm. So we're not asking for crazy land. Like I just wanna be able to update this portion of the podcast app. We're asking for security land. Yeah, emergency uses only. Yes. And what could go wrong with that idea? What could go wrong? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. It helps us out a lot. We're still trying to grow, reach more people with videos like this, alerting the masses about these massive security updates. Right. And the YouTube algorithm is right outside that door. Yeah. And if you click that subscribe button, it might come in and help us out. Thanks for watching.